Today, the Merge Movement tracked down the eccentric battle rap sensation, Dirt. We found him in an undisclosed rural location recording his new album and writing lyrics for his upcoming battles. Dirt is known for his intelligent style and vicious punchlines. We are here to get into his mind, find out what makes him tick, and the secrets to his success. Jim, Mr. President, we represent this nation's fallen residents demanding answers and truth. The evidence is definite. You and your death executive should be arrested and interrogated and questioned and without media censorship. Because ever since 9-11, it's protecting this country. Calls for our rights being taken through amendment shifts. Claim it's for security. What they neglect to mention is financial benefits of creating... What do you love about hip-hop? Like, what do you love about writing? Creativity and artistry. Mm -hmm. Originality people that actually are trying to do something different than everyone else is doing, which is what hip-hop is about. Then there's rap music, two completely different things. So it's like, it's, it's the creativity and the artistic expression that you... That you well, know. I mean, there's so many different things about hip-hop. It's, it's a way for me not to go out and kick the shit out of somebody when I'm pissed off. I could just write bars down, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's an outlet for a lot of different stuff. So what motivates you to do what you do? Boats and hoes. Don't get left behind. Hey, it's corporate greed. We're born to bleed and feed the war machine. They plant the spores and seeds in school before your teens. Set the standard of living above the normal means so you get four degrees. Why the broke and can't afford to breathe? Your specific field's been outsourced for foreign needs, but you still owe in student loans and the vultures swarm and feed politics. So what's kept you in it the whole time? <clears throat> I, I guess it's more than the, it's kept me, because mm. um, I've tried to, you know, just say fuck it, I don't want to do it anymore, but I still wind up doing it. You know what I mean? I always wind up doing it again and doing it again. So I've just come to grips with the fact that it's going to be there. You know what I mean? I'm not, it's not going anywhere. I'll probably be 60 years old in a wheelchair, about in my head, but old dirty bastard's first album. You know what I mean? So awesome. Yeah. And I play banjo. They'll try to lead you to slaughter In the final test of time Will you control your own fate Or blindly step in line Cause they can only win If you let them infect your mind The strong will emerge and prosper I'm still your best friend. Let's just introduce these motherfucking rappers, yo. Dirt, Goon Platoon, Upstate, EmergeMovement.com, Ancient Artifacts Tattoo. Fuck yourself till you die from it. Yeah. Uh, uh, and to my left, I'm Bender. That counts as half your room. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Dirt, call it in there. Francesca. Nah, no, I got hey. one. Oh, you're gonna go? Go. All right, no shit. Doubt. All right, yo. hold it down, respect that. Yo, yo, check yeah. it. Check it. Shh. His name Nick Fowler. You call him trash, it's quite generous. It's funny you were born Nicholas, but you're gonna die penniless. Came from this dick, he did a bit, I'm sure y'all know the tale. 
I got your life story on VHS. It's called Ernest Goes to Jail. Now, some say this was the perfect mass, the fact that we coexist. Suggest we share the same genes, perhaps the sequence was split. But half was genius and wit. The man you see in your midst, he's a random pieces of shit like Dan DeVito and twins. Aren't the yacht club docked on that 71-footer? You a homeless butthooker preyed on by drug pushers. Done butchered your life, sweetie. You hide your blood sugar. Play my tape and watch a bitch from the ring crew out your subwoofer. Now the source of my stature, ain't no sportsman like banter. Warp your mind like a morphine high with organized patterns. The short rhymes of mortify these corny type rappers. He's sure to die in a shorter time than a former child actor and a foreign rival. Sworn by the one times I acted with a gorgeous dime. And four wheel drive and a storm will drive him backwards. Past the warning signs till the force collides. And he's torched alive, immortalized, and teleported by the rapture. Shit, I made a hit list of all of my stunt dummies. At the top, I put this Nicky bitch on like Young Money. Best to Bender on YouTube, you couldn't fit all the lines in the limited time. Best to Dirk, you could put that shit up on Vine. Uh, now, real rap, I see you working a lot and yearn for the spot I've currently got. But dirt if you're not earning the guap or surge to the top from your 30 some odd skirmishes drop, or barely heard a response from any person that's watched, learn when to stop. In fact, turn back the clock to when you first had the thought you should work any job at all that's not concerned with a mop. They told me dirt wanted a box. I just knock dirt on the box, drop dirt in a box, and toss dirt on the box. That's oh. one. Oh. Woo! Nice. All right. Hold it down. This is where the buck fucking stops. You muffin top bitch made diva. Now dirt hits another point which only digs graves deeper. You talk about your opponents not getting pussy, bitch, you don't get laid neither. Even if you mix straight ether with trees and had them hit lace reefer, you couldn't get a bitch legs open with a push button switchblade feature. <laughs> Such a big lame creeper that chicks this prick chase either laugh at his shit stained t shirt and his pig face features or run fast enough to rip suede sneakers in a quick eight meters like they just saw a myth based creature. Oh. <laughs> he can't get girls his age eager, so you hollow hand in that poker playing kid named Peter, been reaching out to more minors than a fucking sick strange preacher that doubles two as a substitute fifth grade teacher. Oh. Okay. But let's look back and face the past. When you hit me up sounding like a fan explaining that, you thought my battle's great and you want to collaborate on tracks. But I only spit with dudes I know in real life that rap and state the facts. I'd rather take an axe to make your faggot face smashed in shape till the handle breaks in half than decapitate your ass. But instead, I offer to have him pay in cash, travel basics in a hotel, or a lavish place to crash just for a battle date to clash, but I got aggravated fast. No matter what I put on the line, this crab wouldn't grab the bait attached. So I apologize for fans that waited past impatient and got agitated mad while this faggot navigated past the plan escapes and dash. I had to track and chase his ass. Now I can finally fly to square his top off like he graduating class. Oh. So you lost massive weight months ago. I ain't congratulating that. Look like your habit changed from snacks and cake to crack and age of the cancer rate for fat. Now it's back now it's back to your pants and waist is packed with so much flabby chase and aggravate your back. When this massive waste of trash in space has to take a bath, he dislocates his shoulder, reaching back to wax and shave his ass. Oh. Fucking weight fluctuate back to junkie traits from the drugs he take. He either malnourished ribs touching scrape with his cheeks in a sunken state, or he just put, or he just pumpkin shape repugnant ape that stuff his face looking a Russia race with oven baked dumplings, crepes, muffins, cake, fatty or ah uh, fatty cuts of steak till a disgusting glaze glisten across his grease covered face. Then he goes back for another couple plates like he's being polite on a double date till his double chin makes him suffocate, but he won't leave a crumb or trace. Then his stomach shakes and the rumble breaks another chair in his mother's place. It don't take much to scare Bender, he a feminine dude, but he becomes an airbender after Mexican food. <laughs> tapeworm that has the AIDS germ. <laughs> and then a squirm's out your face rocking a straight perm like a -ver. I'm gonna make sure this juggalo's victimized with a safe word. He'd be in a post-battle interview when his voice changed and his face blurred. Mm. You wrecked your image coming across like a washed-up wrestling villain given a rest that's finished already read the fiction in your retinal pigment. This Ooh. redneck wishing that his rep was getting recognition and respect for spitting repetition reminiscent of a record skipping. Ooh. You chain smoke in the swimming pool and rock a power backstroke. <laughs> you practice MMA on MDMA and got a cauliflowered asshole. <laughs> you disheveled piece of dog shit. Look at yourself, buddy. 
Smoking jump rocks and a vaporizer does not make you a health junkie. <laughs> now who said this receptacle for quantum is prime for a breakthrough? That most of dude's friends are just vegetables who lost all their minds to different plain glue. Mm. You abuse meth when accessible, if not you get high from plain glue. If you used any more chemicals, Obama would try to invade you. <laughs> <laughs> said he's from the mean streets, that's a ridiculous fable. Your locale is marked out like nutritional labels. Said he's keeping a peace, he's enlisted with NATO. Play around and take that face off like Mr. Potato. Shit! Oh. I'll spit on anything from trap to boom back to G-Funk. But I wouldn't sell a verse to any producer you bought a beat from. Do you want to collab with a god? Your whole town will be left penniless. Cost you nothing short of Rushmore. That's a mountain of dead presidents. Oh. Your shit's so gentle, you make Mr. Wendell sound like Brazilian metal if you switch the levels of the pitch and temple then reverse until you get the devil telling you you're gonna burn a Christian temple. This is settled. Ooh. Lenny Brown, I put out his quintessential. This bitch got played out quicker than the control instrumental. I disassemble your rep, at least you stand by your name. He even tattooed some dirt on his hands and his face. I set up hard hitting lines. You set up carnival or you set up carnival rides. We'll smoke a light bulb full of meth, crawl back to your barn and just die. That's two. Sometimes you could tell a true bitch just by who he moved with. And your main man got ball sweat wiped all over his face and then y'all ain't do shit. Wait, ball sweat on his face. They didn't do shit. Had that happened to somebody in the goon clique, would have gone beyond two fits. Maybe Low was a toothpick and was outsized, but he wasn't, and your goons were there too, bitch, all big enough to sink a cruise ship. If y'all had any balls at all, you would've stepped in and threw quick at least a few hits, but you just stood there looking stupid and confused about to lose it and throw a huge fit, so you still butt hurt because you're too much of a chump to jump and got stuck stiff as a glue stick, or was it because somebody else's ball sweat just got smudged across your booze lips? <laughs> y'all mumbled some shit under your breath like you would've done a fucking thing anyway. Then wait until y'all left to say some shit on Twitter in a furious text display till daylight told you pop off then. Even tweeted the hotel address where he rest and stay. Oh. What the fuck did your team do? Not show up to world domination second day. Oh. Cause you were too busy sitting around bitching with shit grown men would never say. Like battle rap is fucking real dude, we should have brought the pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> so, these bitch cats went back where they lived, stocked up on sunblock, lathered their skin, strapped on their hats with sunglasses already attached to the brims, got turned nocturnal and keep it pitch, pitch black in their cribs, cause your whole clique more terrified at daylight alone than Dracula is. <laughs> no, no strikes for light bitches, what y'all write ain't life is it, now the brain's response to confrontations referred to as fight or flight distance. <laughs> See, my team's most violent rapper was exposed as a lying actor by being pushed around, pocket checked, ball sweat wiped and slathered across his face and he was caught smiling at after giggling with childish laughter. Oh my god! Oh my god. I, think, I think anybody real can agree that be the deciding factor. Uh -huh. He get forced into resigning faster than a defiant pastor caught reciting chapters of the Bible backwards during a time of rapture. Oh but you probably need him there to wipe your ass and grind your back like a chiropractor because at the rate you were backing out and ducking me, it probably gave you a spinal fracture. Oh. Finger marked out. <laughs> I wasn't even there at World Domination, so I couldn't do shit. But even if I was face to face at daylight, I probably wouldn't do shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo. <laughs> now they've been trying to convince me this turbo skid has some heat. I was curious just to see what he's working with, so I peep. You ain't worthy of kissing my feet or the dirt that sits underneath. Don't bother calling the surgeon till the nurse will get him a priest. Heard you bitch through organic, said you earned a trip to compete. Didn't work, you had a girly fit, heard a click and you weep. Went online, I'll piss you on, burn your bridge with the league, so here's this whole star for attention trying to turn this into a beef. Now, I took some time off battles, felt I earned him into the beef. But Dirk just wouldn't hush till I returned to give him a piece. Now you want to see that monster that lurks within getting free? It's like you're working with the police. You just turned me into the beast. By the way, how long you serve in prison? A week? You spend less time in the bucket than the colonel's chicken I eat. Was not acting like a fag in a turn for getting released? Because if that's the case, son, that's the first condition you breached. I weighed 230. Shit, you in worse condition than me. Look like you've got a 230 a day perk addiction to feed. Neurons under fatigue. Nervous system all tweaked. Still popping those pills like you found a cure for liver disease. Well, you battled in the URL? Word. Well, shit, let me see. Oh, it hasn't been uploaded yet? Don't worry, give it a week. Well, you're an American Canadian? <laughs> Third, you're kidding me, G. Those joints must have been classic. I'm sure they're getting released. <laughs> Bottom line, you ain't shit. You're obscure. I drip in the seat. To search for dirt, you need a journalism degree. Here's a pearl of wisdom to keep. If this pervert lives in your street, make sure your kids know to keep all the curtains dip when you sleep. I'm merciless when I speak. This ain't murder. This isn't beef. This is Jersey sending in fleets of Persian ships into Greece. Be a dirty pig on the beat. 
to murk the kid on the creek, or I'll just take this dick out of the hood like a circumcision to free. Yeah. Now, I'm not asking for no purple ribbon receive. Now, damn, I just showed you the perfect rinse of a scheme. So fuck the squeegee willing bum and the sperm that lives in his teeth. Just another head from my trophy case, dirt you finished us three. He's got an ill condition. Still afflicted with a pill addiction, so to get it popping, you gotta go fill prescriptions just to kill the itching. Uh, Even with your free health care, you need a team of skilled physicians, a fucking real magician, doctor Phil to listen while you're feeling Christian, till admission and guilt have driven you enough to build ambition and develop a will for quitting. Uh, your whole league smells fishy. This lame ogre's not the only strange odor. I'm the ace holder. When I pull cards and play jokers, it's game over. Who gives a fuck if you were king of the dot champion chain holder? You got left open by the world's worst wigger, just accepted in game closure. And you couldn't Change your worthless chain if you just could have remained sober. Plus, I wrote for the guy that wrote for your former champ when deadlines became closer during the Grand Prix. He overheated something, seized in his brain's motor. So that writer's block transformed from a brick to a slate boulder. If I took people to court, that title and chain would have changed owners. I might as well have just played coach the way I gazed over Arcane's shoulder. That's why American and Canadian hip hop aren't even the same culture. You see, if you're not spitting heat, gotta wonder who's feeling the flamethrower. So. Fuck a Canadian legend status like it ever mattered, you pretentious bastard. Your multi set the standard for everlasting lecture fashion schemes that never happen to directly stab his opponent or reach a real point like fencing matches. Ooh. This endless mass of stretching fatness is. <laughs> 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 This endless mass of stretching fatness, such a gentle passive, soft as a feather mattress, tender faggot. I could press or slap him and he wouldn't throw so much as a fucking temper tantrum. So if need be, start stepping backwards. Cause fat boy, you could eat teeth to maintain your space, with or without the dental brackets. I write hot enough to melt tempered glass and leave a pencil ashes. With bars cold enough when applied to fake or synthetic plastics, it makes the center crack, causing pressure fractures, which will instantly turn the slightest bend to shatter. My gun put in good work, but I'll let it go without a severance package. I'd extend the ratchet, but you won't catch a blast and extensive damage from the leaden shrapnel metal fragments. Instead, I'm tagging your head with handles of heavy straps and carry on till, in this case, it's seven packing with metal baggage. My heart's upstate, moment, my brain's Iraq. So soon as this lame fly back, I hope your flight distance changes in nine inches in less than five minutes after your plane's hijacked. Oh. What is this? about the bars, all right, y'all good.